Pope Benedict, if I may return to him again, return to him again. Is that redundant? Am I repeating myself? Am I saying the same thing over and over I again? Can return to him. Have you returned to him before? Re return to him again before I did well, after you, that. You part? did. If you return to him already, it's time we do it again. Time we do it <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what I was trying to yeah, say. I get it. So let me do that. He says <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. You're being vulnerable. I, I like am. it. He says that a musical instrument is human intelligence drawing out of a tree, mm -hmm. drawing out of brass, right? What is brass? Uh, it's melted rock, right? What is a violin? Uh, what, is, what is making you weep when you hear a beautiful violin solo? Well, let me tell you what you're hearing. You're hearing hairs mm -hmm. plucked from a horse's ass vibrating, being rubbed against sheep guts dried out and stretched out over a hollowed out piece of tree, right? Uh, that's what a violin is, a, a good violin, the, the bow is made out of horse hair, uh, ho hair from a horse tail, right? And, and the strings of a good violin are dried out lamb guts. You, you, just, you just explained what art is. It's a lot, it makes sense experienced. Yeah. Describe. Yeah, describe, right. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> but that's what's happening. Yeah. But what, what Benedict says is music is human intelligence drawing out of the elements of creation, horse hairs, lamb guts, melted rocks. That's what guitar strings are, right? Melted mm -hmm. rocks. Um, uh, a flute. Think of, think of a flute. What is a flute? Melted rock that you are blowing through. But what he, say, what he says is there is already music that the creator has put into creation mm -hmm. because the word was made flesh. What does that mean? The Greek word that we translate word, word was made flesh, is logos. And, and the logos is the logic, the purpose, the meaning, the reason behind everything. What makes a rock a rock? What makes a tree a tree? Uh, what makes a lamb a lamb? What makes a horse a horse? There is a logic to a horse. There's a logic to a lamb. There's a logic to a tree. That logic behind that logic is the logos. And the logos, the logic, the reason, the purpose, the meaning behind everything, this is the Christian proposal, entered into the world he created through a woman who had to open and say yes and be vulnerable, as we were saying earlier, mm -hmm. a bride said yes, and God enters his creation through her womb. And the incarnation means not only that flesh, human flesh now, communicates the mystery of God, but extends, it extends to all of creation. And Pope Benedict says that when we make music, we are drawing the logos out of, of the melted rocks. We are drawing yeah. the logos out of the horse hairs. We are drawing the logos out of that hunk of hollowed out tree in a guitar or in a violin or a piano or whatever instrument you're playing. You are pulling the music out that God has impregnated in to creation. Yeah. And he speaks of the musification of the logos as a kind of incarnation. Now, these are fancy words. Are these the words we use every day? No, but we feel it. What do we feel? He says, when you feel music and it splits you open on the inside, well, let me just quote him again. He says, he says, music uncovers the buried way to the heart, the core of our being, where it touches the being of the creator and the redeemer. When, when, when our hearts, when that deaf woman's heart was vibrating because your heart was vibrating and it came through the floor and it went up her feet and her heart was like, ah, oh, something's happening to me. Yeah. What's happening to her? The logos is taking flesh in her. The word is being made flesh in her. Uh, music is, is opening this way to the core of her being. And he goes on to say, wherever this is achieved, when the heart is cracked open through music, and again, he's not making, he's not saying it only happens in church music. Wherever this is achieved, uh, you know, 
Ratzinger, Benedict, was a huge fan of, of classical music, uh, Beethoven and Bach, and, and, and he, he speaks of going to a, a concert. Uh, it's not sacred art, it was, it was classical music. And, and say, he's saying, it was a proof of God's existence for me, because yeah. it reached this place in my heart where, where the Word was made flesh in me. What, one of my favorite uh, lines that touches on that is, and I think you, you think you saw the documentary about Glenn Gould, yes, wh- who was a very vocal atheist. Yes, it, it just he was. But somebody in, in the in this documentary said, watching him was proof of God's existence. Yes, yes. And that's you. You become music is a an incarnation of something spiritual. I mean, think how think how viscerally physical music is. We're yeah. talking vibrating horse hairs and lamb guts on a hollowed out tree that sends sound waves through the air. It goes into your ear and vibrates some membrane inside your skull, and all of a sudden you're weeping with deep emotion. Music is the the touch point between the spiritual and the physical in a very concrete way, which which is a promise that that we can encounter God not by leaving this physical world. We don't have to transcend this physical world to get to God. He's in it. He's here. It doesn't mean the physical world is God, but that God has chosen to enter it. This is where this is where theology, music, and evangelization all come together. And I'm putting a fancy I'm putting fancy words to it, but you and I know this viscerally in our first encounter yeah. when we met and we sat down with a guitar and just shared songs for two and a half hours and a bond formed between us that, I mean, almost trying to put it in words is, is a disservice because you just have to reverence that, that unspeakable thing. ¶¶